Cool. So, Mike, just talk me through the last few races. China in particular, we're looking really good on pace. Um, how are you feeling? Oh, well, good. It's good to be back after the first three flyaway races. It's always uh, quite an intense time getting everything freighted out to those flyaway races, and obviously it's difficult to get many updates on the car. I think in general we're reasonably pre pleased. Um, we had four out of six finishes in races um, and showed good pace in, in races, uh, China especially. And it qualified very well in Malaysia, very close to the teams in front. I think the one negative we've struggled a little bit on qualifying and one lap pace, especially in uh, cooler uh, conditions and cooler track temperatures, but I think that's something we're getting on top of and I think coming up for the uh, next few races won't be a problem. And just talk to me about the, the races coming up, Turkey, Barcelona and Monaco. Obviously we're bringing some upgrades to the car, can you tell me a little bit about those? Yeah, with the three races coming up, um, actually our major update is coming along for Barcelona. Uh, which will be a major update to the diffuser and rear end of the car and bring quite a lot of performance to the car. Uh, we've got some other smaller updates for Barcelona uh, and then also um, some uh, smaller updates for Turkey as well. Um, Monaco is straight after Barcelona, one week in between, um, and obviously that's a very special race in terms of uh, the nature of the circuit and the whole event. Good, and the question that everybody wants to know, when do you think we're going to be getting some points? Uh, well, I think uh, if we look at scoring points, really we have to look at uh, Barcelona onwards. I think the updates to the car are going to be very significant. And um, yeah, I think uh, from Barcelona onwards. Okay.